fashion show. Our first model is Kirin Yoshimura. He is wearing a jinbei, which is a traditional Japanese summer outfit for boys and men. The top is like a kimono with short sleeves and the bottoms are like shorts. It has a dragonfly pattern. A dragonfly in Japanese means victory bug since they only go forward. The next model is Valentina Antizano. She is wearing a yukata, which is a traditional casual summer kimono for both men and women. The pattern on her yukata features images of the moon, bunnies, and sakura, cherry blossoms. Bunnies are messengers of the moon, so they are considered to be a lucky charm. Joaquin Antizano is wearing a jean bag, which boys wear in the summer. It has an arrow pattern. This is another lucky charm since arrows only fly forward and never come back. Jean bay is very comfortable and is used, it used to be homeware, but now they are popular for festivals. Our next model is Pete Rubach. He is wearing what is called a happy coat. This is usually worn for festivals. On the back, there is a kanji character. It is a Chinese character for festival. On his head, he is wearing a headband with a decorative pattern. Next is Reagan Peterson. She is wearing yukata, the kimono for summer. Kimono are usually made of silk, but these are made of cotton. The pattern that she is wearing is the image of the sunset and dragonfly, which as I said before is a lucky charm. Kobe Freund is wearing a yukata for men. The pattern is of woven bamboo. This hexagram pattern is known as an amulet. He is also wearing a pair of traditional straw sandals, which are worn by men with their kimono. Next is Grace Grisham. She is wearing a yukata with a pattern of the summer evening sky. There are moons, stars, and the Milky Way. This is a perfect pattern for a summer night out. And finally, we have Nico Antizano wearing jeanbe. It is a very traditional, simple pattern that is very comfortable and festive. two Japanese folktale songs, and it's perfect for this season. The first song will be about the moon. Uh, the months of September and October are moon viewing months and celebration of the harvest moon. And then the second song is about the red dragonfly. It's a nostalgic, <laughs> it's a nostalgic song about looking back at the olden days and wondering about, about youth and childhood being carried on the back of an adult.
Iowa, let us properly introduce ourselves. Manabia, Iowa was established in the spring of 2012 as the only Japanese language and cultural learning place in Greater Iowa, Greater Des Moines, Iowa area. It started out as a heritage language class with 10 students. As our program became more widely recognized, we opened our doors to non-Japanese heritage students as well. We also provide a gathering space for, your, for younger kids once a month and participate in community events such as celebration. Our head host organization is the Japan, Japan America Society of Iowa, aka JASI, which is celebrating its 30th anniversary on October 12th at the Grandview University Student Center. The celebration will feature a professional no performance by Theatre no Gaku, which is a traditional Japanese theater with some music. There will also be free activities, a martial arts presentation, Japanese cultural displays, a performance by Soten Taiko, the drum group, and more. We will we'll have a uh, cultural tent as a uh, yeah, Manabia also. Please visit our website for more details, japaniowa.org. Now, we are closing our performance with a dance called Welcome to Tokyo. As some of you know, are already aware, Tokyo is hosting the Summer, Ol Summer Olympics next year, 2020. 2020. We are welcoming not only the athletes, but visitors from all over the world. This is a cheer dance for this exciting event. Thank you. 
in our performance. We are Manabi, Iowa. Thank you so much.